I just got a coffee so I could go get coffee. That is like the weirdest thing. tell a story that my my parents took me to see Star Wars when I was like three years old and uh, I saw up there I, I want to do that I, I, I meant I wanted to be a Jedi but um, they kind of explained it to me through the years and I, I it's all I you know kind of latched on to that early on as something I wanted to yeah I'm shaking the table okay. um, that started that early on as something that I wanted to do and um, it just sort of is one of those things that I kept falling back into no matter how hard I tried to get away from it you know, in, in high school and then in college I went to college trying to be a, a sportscaster um, took my acting classes figuring that that would help me for on camera um, and then just lashed right back into into acting do you mean background or do you mean like uh, speaking I can be okay. um, my first background gig was uh, um, well, you went to a, one of those massive, like, fill the stadium nights for Major League Two. Okay. Um, even though it was, it took place in Cleveland, they shot it in Baltimore. Um, and then, uh, um, I guess my first paid, um, was, uh, I did dinner theater in, in high school. So I got paid to do that, so, uh, you know, semi-professional acting early on. Okay. Um, on camera, I guess my first First spoken lines were on the wire, so right. yeah, very cool. Yeah. yeah, which was great. You were, you got to work with uh, the actor who plays uh, Arsetti. Yeah, Aiden Gillen. Yeah. Aiden Gillen. Yeah. So little finger. Yeah. And um, he's, he's he's blowing up. Yeah. He's on Game of Thrones. He's on. Uh, oh, not Project, anymore. Well, <laughs> Spoiler. Project Blue Book. Right. right. I haven't watched that yet. Now. It's really good. You gotta check that. So, it's a good show. Um, I play on a men's league team. Uh, my team is called the Butchers. Our, our logo is, um, it's, it's kind of the perfect team for me. Our logo on our jersey is uh, Bill the Butcher from um, uh, Game, Game, Gangs of New York. Daniel so, Day-Lewis. Daniel Day-Lewis. Yeah, yeah, that's great. So, that's a good um, look. It is, it's really cool. Uh, the handlebar mustache. Uh, we have a guy on our team, actually, who is a, um, he is a, uh, he, he has a shop in Gettysburg where he does the old um, wet plate uh, photos of people, uh -huh. and so he's going to bring his his camera to the rink and take a like an old timey team picture that oh, looks like yeah uh, in our gangs of New York. Is everybody going to grow facial hair for it? Uh, well, yeah. most of our team has facial hair. Okay. You know, so. All right. Um, that, that seems to be the trend right yeah. now. Yeah. So, uh, what's your what's your nickname on the team? Do you have one? What's your specialty? What do you do? Uh, I don't really have one. They, you know, my, my, my last name just sort of always worked as my nickname. Uh, it's, it's, it's like, like not Dan the Blade, Franco? No, or no. Nothing like that? Just Franco. So on, on my birthday about four years ago, I think, um, I scored a hat trick. Uh, on my birthday, all three were breakaways. It was crazy. I remember uh, that. You, yeah. I remember you put, did you post about it? You did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They gave me the puck, <laughs> like birthday hat trick. Hat trick? Yeah. That must have been fun. It was cool. And all three of them, and they weren't cherry pick breakaways. They were like just perfect pass on the tape and off jailbreak. It's fun when yeah. stuff goes like that, yeah. right? Whether it's on, on the ice or in real life. Yeah. Kind of uh, that, that, that goalie was so pissed off. The third one, oh, he was hot. <laughs> Somebody stop on that guy, I get free. So, and, then, uh, and then the next game, I followed it up with another hat trick. Okay. Only time, and I don't think I've scored six goals since. <laughs> like, You know, I feel like um, it's kind of like when, when, another sports analogy, I guess. You know, when you talk about um, mental reps, you know, see the backup quarterback might not get the reps with the first team, but they're there and they're doing the work in their in their head, you know, and, and growing from it. 
for me, it's it's uh, it's helping you know grow our community. Like we've always talked about, the more we all kind of develop uh, this base of, of talent, the more aware that people outside of this area will be that hey, we can hire the people from here. We don't have to bring them in from New York or Chicago or LA. Um, but it's also just it's when you don't get a chance to do it on the kind of frequency that the people in those other cities do, you know, even being there, giving feedback, watching and, and thinking through the issues that I'm seeing helps me develop as an actor as well. So. Fantastic. I mean, you, you, watch, you watch somebody who came in and they were very stiff and they were very um, just, just not willing to break out of that safe zone and you see someone taking risks and and just pushing themselves to, you know, beyond the, um, beyond just the safe choices or the, the you know, th that, that's always very rewarding. Don't worry about looking stupid. Don't be afraid to take a chance, you know, and, and push yourself beyond what feels comfortable. Um, Cause that's where all the good stuff happens. Like all, all the things that I've done in my career were People have said, wow, that was fantastic. Those are things that I was very uncomfortable with that I don't know if I can do that. I don't know if I can, you know, I, the, the one role I almost didn't take because I, I was at uh, the recursion theorem. Yep. I almost didn't take it because as I read through the script, it's like, ah, I don't know if I can get to the place they need me to get. Mm -hmm. I was, it, it intimidated me and I was afraid. And I'm glad glad as hell that I that I pushed through and, and, and did that. Yeah, it's going to screen at the end of uh, March in the uh, Garden State Film Festival in, in Asbury Park, New Jersey. Um, my uncle's got a place like right up the street, so I think that's where I'm going to be hanging out. Um, yeah, I haven't told him that yet, so maybe. <laughs> um, the, um, and I'm, I'm nominated for, I guess, the, the Garden State has, has uh, just started this year doing um, acting awards. So they nominated me for uh, Best Actor in a Short Film, so that's very cool. And then, um, actually that same weekend, another film that I'm in, uh, Nothing From Something, uh, with Chris Perillo, is going to be in the Queens Film Festival. I gotta get another coffee, though. Oh, you wanna get another coffee? Yeah. Alright, we'll get another coffee.